So what time are you heading out tomorrow? Well, actually, Sue's up there now. I was going to get the last bus tonight and get an early start tomorrow morning. You know, when we called the office out west, you were the only name they gave us. That's nice of them. Listen, Steve, we're a $9 billion company. Yeah, someone's recommending you. It's not nice. It's, uh, it's numbers. I appreciate that. Now, let me ask you something. You guys have closed more towns than the team behind you by almost triple digits. But the price point that we pay out on your leases is half of everyone else's. How do you do that? Well, I'm from Eldridge, Iowa. Meaning? It might as well be Rifle, Colorado, Dish, Texas, or Lafayette, Louisiana. Any of these towns we've sold. I know them, they know me. Well, unfortunately, the rest of our road teams don't find it quite so easy. I grew up in a large farming community. Football Fridays, tractor pulls, cow tipping, all of it. I mean, I'm one of two guys in my graduating class who went to college and studied something other than agriculture. It's the biggest fight my grandfather and I ever had. Just a pride, I guess. No. It's delusional self-mythology. It's bullshit. We had a caterpillar plant down in Davenport a few miles away. They closed that down my junior year. I didn't think anything of it. By the time my senior prom rolled around, I got to see firsthand just how little legs we had to stand on. I mean, the whole farming town fantasy, it just shattered. The truth was, without the plant, without the industry, we had nothing. And my whole town was... I'm not selling them natural gas. I'm selling them the only way they have to get back. Best of luck, Steve. Is this the guy? I thought you said he wasn't handsome. <laughs> <clears throat> Sorry, I'm late. I had to stop at home on the way down. My daughter, it's her birthday today. Mm-hmm.